Welcome to the second film in our Pitched Roof series, in which we examine the key characteristics of pitched roofs. First of all, let us look at the role they play in creating space. The roof is the uppermost part of the uppermost room in a building. It is not necessarily a habitable space. It may simply be an unconverted loft or roof space, for example. However, the space created beneath a roof is quite different from that created beneath a flat ceiling because of its shape. A pitched roof always forms part of the load-bearing structure of a building, and as such it must be able to transfer both vertical and horizontal loads. Vertical loads are primarily the result of the construction weight of the roof together with the weight of any snow lying on it and the traffic load represented by human access to the roof for maintenance purposes, for example. Wind is responsible for the main horizontal loads and also has the unfortunate characteristic of creating a suction effect on the roof on the leeward side of a building. The roof provides protection against the elements. We have already mentioned the wind and the need to divert rain and other forms of precipitation. But the roof may also need to provide protection against the sun by preventing the interior of a building from overheating. In our German winters, the weather outside is cold, but we want the interiors of our buildings to stay nice and warm. To prevent the cold from penetrating and maintain a pleasant temperature inside for as long as possible, a roof must therefore also provide protection against heat loss. We have already discussed the term transmission heat loss in our Elements of Architecture series of films. Heat will always try to escape through a roof, a phenomenon we endeavour to minimise by maximising the heat insulating properties of the roof. Roofs also have other characteristics. They must provide protection against exterior noise and be resistant to environmental influences, ageing, etc. And, as I'm sure you have already guessed because you should be familiar with the principle by now, roofs should also be beautiful. Here you can see one of our firm's latest projects, an office building in the Czech town of Karlovy that sits amid lovely rolling countryside. The pitched roof here blends perfectly into the rural environment. Summary A pitched roof is required to perform a number of different tasks. As the uppermost part of the uppermost room in a building and part of the load-bearing structure, it must be able to transfer both vertical and horizontal loads. It must also provide protection against wind, rain, sun and exterior noise. We also recommend that you take a look at the third film in our Pitched Roofs series in which we look at the various different shapes of pitched roofs.